Pittsburgh Writer Workshop is an event where you have professional people coming in from all over the country who are really, the sense that I get is they want to help us hone our craft. And beyond honing our craft, it's an opportunity to get in front of some people who can really help our careers. Um, you know, the, this industry is such that it's very hard to break in. And so when, when I knew this event was coming, I was super excited about the ability to actually sit down and talk to somebody um, about my book because I, I figured that if I could actually talk to somebody about it instead of being one of 10,000 emails about my book's the greatest book ever, if I could actually physically talk to somebody about it, that that would be a huge benefit. So that's why I was really excited about this thing coming to town. I was just really excited to see an opportunity where I could meet other writers in the region um, and get some good advice, learn a little bit more. I'm always looking to hone my craft myself, so I'm looking forward to the sessions this afternoon. Um, but also just the chance to network and talk to other people who understand what it's like to be a writer. So I met with um, a literary agent, uh, Hope Bollinger, and that was my first face-to-face -face pitch that I've ever done. And so, you know, my nerves are going a million miles a minute. So I just sat down and just started going for it. And uh, I pitched her the story and she was very responsive to it. She said, that's a really neat story. I, I'm intrigued to read more. And so that's exactly what I wanted to have happen. I, I, I'm a realist, I know I'm not, it's not like, okay, so here, sign this contract. I want to sign you today. It doesn't work like that. But just to have an, an actual agent interested in the work, it, just in a five minute synopsis. And, and she had some questions which I thought were great. Um, she gave me a couple of uh, uh, pointers for some uh, interviews down the road. So I thought that was great. And I thought she did a really nice job of, of um, just giving me some real quick critique that might help me in what I'm trying to do. So I, that, that was awesome. I thought that was great. So this was my first time doing it, um, and but it's pretty easy. You just go in and tell them your book title, your genre, um, how many words it is, and then try to go briefly through the um, main characters, your plot conflict, and how they're overcoming that conflict, and then they ask you questions. I met with two so far, and they went really well. Um, I am. It was a strange idea to me to kind of sit there and talk at someone for five or 10 minutes. But it was, they were engaging, they were asking questions, which is really where I'm more comfortable is having a conversation about my book rather than trying to stand up and give an elevator pitch. So it was, it was good practice and they were helpful and they were both enthusiastic. So it was exciting and encouraging. Yeah, oh man, 100, 110 pages in like 10 minutes, it's kind of hard. You know, even if you give a general overview, there's just so much stuff in there. And that's the problem with query letters. You know, if you write, I mean, I've written, I wrote 60 query letters last year. All of them got rejected. And I said, you know, it's better that you pitch because I can get to the, because, you, you know, on a, on a query letter, they only, you only allow, like, some, they just want one page, some want two. Well, how do you put 110,000? Even if you hit the highlights, there's a lot of stuff deep that you can't, uh, a query letter is, it's like a synopsis of your novel. Yeah, you, you know, um, who the main characters are, what's it about, how many words. You put all that stuff up front. It's, you know, like it's, it's urban fantasy, it's 110,000 words, and it's about, and you start the query letter. You know, Pittsburgh literature, you know, if, if, if you delve into it a little bit, I mean, there's a lot of us seemingly who are trying to kind of break through it. Um, you know, Pittsburgh's, Pittsburgh's a great city in a lot of, a lot of ways. I mean, you've got great culture, you know, great art scene, you know, downtown's coming alive with a lot of, you know, neat places to eat and, you know, so, so Pittsburgh's kind of going through this renaissance and, you know, in, in terms of the literary scene, you know, again, I'm newer to it and I've been, you know, trying to find, you know, where does it fit in, you know, who's out there that you can kind of reach out to. And I think that's really why this event for me is really kind of important because my hope is that through this event, you know, I'll get connected to, you know, the, the different groups that are out here in town, if they exist, that I can plug into. And that's, and that's why this, this event, I think, is so great. 
uh, if you have an ego, it's not, it's not, it's not for you. If, you know, if you're not willing to change, then that's what it's really all about. Are you willing to put your person? I mean, you know, when you write, it's part of you. So can you take the criticism? That's basically what it's about. Are you willing to listen to someone else? You don't have all the answers. <laughs> that, that's what any writer's group. I think um, pharmacy school, college was so long and it was such a detour away from the creative process side. It was so scientific. Um, and then it wasn't until you know, I was coming out of school that I started really trying to write again. And I think once I restarted that creative process, I just realized how passionately I loved it and just something that has always been inside me, something that I've always known was who I was and what I wanted to do. Um, so not necessarily in a moment, but just as I kind of picked writing back up, I realized that this is what I really, really love. My, the, the, well, the aha moment is the fact that it is not easy at all. And having, having the time to sit there and actually write is surprisingly really, really hard to do because, you know, your phone's going off, your watch buzzes, I mean, all these things that distract you. Neil, Neil Gaiman was talking about, um, he has like this cabin that he like just goes there and writes and there's no distractions. And, and, and that's his process. You know, he just gets away from everything and everybody and that's how he does it. And I was like, yeah, I totally get why, because it is hard to just devote the time to just sit there and write, because you get distracted. And, and, and so I think that's probably actually one of the big barriers to entry for a lot of people, is that just they, they can't cobble together the time to put the story together. Never give up. Never, ever. You just have to keep going. My name is Chris Gardner. I'm Keisha Ball. I'm Elizabeth Livers. My name is Michael Smith. I'm an aspiring author. I'm an author and editor. An aspiring author. I'm an aspiring author. And Mr. Bones. And Mr. Bones. And Mr. Bones. Knows me. Knows me. Knows me. And Mr. Bones knows me!